Hey everybody, happy Easter here from all of us at Dogmouth Levi. Just wanted to jump on here this weekend. Uh, we've been getting asked quite a bit about who makes the guns and what caliber we shoot and what's all the goodies set up on them. So since it's getting close to turkey season, I'll use my striker here to kind of point to you. But so this particular gun here is mine. This is the one I shoot all the time in our videos. It's uh, made from HS Precision out of South Dakota. This particular gun is in a, it's chambered in a 224 Valkyrie. Uh, as you can see, it's a fluted sand color Cerakote here, as I'm pointing here. That's, it's a 22 inch barrel. Uh, they come with a brake when you, when you order them, but I took the brake off. And this is the very first suppressor that I have ever bought. I've got two of them, but this was the very first one here. This one, actually a good friend of mine, James O'Neill from O'Neill Ops, helped me with it. He helped, he helped kind of come up with this design from the guys from SRT Arms in Arizona. This is model is the Vapor in the 22 caliber. Extremely quiet. It is extremely quiet. I've put it next to some other suppressors and you can tell a little bit of a difference, but a very good, I would recommend this to anybody, this suppressor, it's been flawless. I haven't, you don't really do no maintenance to them. James said, if you're not shooting 22 uh, long rifle shells through it, cause he said that really gums them up pretty bad. But he said, if you're shooting anything else, there's really no maintenance to them. So I've never done nothing to this. And I don't know how many shells I've ran through it. So super quiet it's an eight inch titanium one so i would recommend this again this one's from this is the vapor model from srt arms out of arizona like i said james james o'neill helped kind of come up with one and kind of create it and mold to what it is now today so but back to the gun part you know this is this model here is an htr this is what they call their heavy tactical rifle uh, it's pretty heavy. I don't know, you know, with what the poundage is on it, but it's not where you, I mean, it's not unbearable. You can take it anywhere here in Montana that we're hunting, you know, we're basically getting out of the pickup and walking a quarter to half a mile to get in our coyote stands. Or if we're deer hunting, even if we're chasing elk or deer, we're not, it's not uncomfortable to pack it. So, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it, but it's the brown Cerakote. Uh, now this here, I'm going to point right here. This one here is a, it's on a Picatinny rail here. You can see, uh, which is which I would recommend. And then of course we're running a Sig Sauer on top of that. This particular scope I'm running on this gun is the Tango Six, and it's the five to thirty by fifty six. It's the first focal plane. I would recommend this scope to anybody. Uh, all the Sig Sauer lines, the scopes are great. I, I just wanted to run the, the Tangle 6 option because I like the turret system on it. Uh, and like I said, I like a little bigger, wider objective up here in the front. So it, it does add some weight to it. So if you're looking to maybe shave some weight off your setup, kind of be more of run and gun or maybe a pickup gun or something, you know, a lot lighter, you can go on SIG and maybe get their Tango 4 or maybe a smaller one or their whiskey ones. But this particular one is the one that we run. Uh, of course, it's got this, you know, right here, it's got your, this adjustable uh, length of pull on the stock. Uh, right here, the trigger, I'm sure you can see here, pointing down here to it. Our trigger, this is a Timmy trigger that comes from, from HS right there in house. Uh, we have our set at a pound. I mean, it, it's not dangerous. You know, I wouldn't want anything under a pound for sure. I've shot some guns that are 10 ounces and I didn't even want to be around them. So uh, we have all of ours come from, from HS. They're set at a pound once you get familiar with them. Uh, you know, it's the accuracy that you see from your uh, trigger being set at a lower poundage is tremendous. The only thing I would say is you're not, 
you're not going to, when you get into this, this trigger here, I take my glove off even in the winter. Of course, in the summer when we're pounding coyotes, you know, I'm not wearing gloves, but in the winter time, I take my glove off because at a pound, if you go in there hard and fast with a thicker glove, this trigger is going to go off. So it's safe. You know, I would not run anything that wasn't safe. I got, I take people, my family, my friends, my buddies, and, and, and then ultimately my dogs are always out in front of me in the, in the summertime. So just be careful around it. You get used to it, you know, just like I said, we don't, we, we don't load anything, you know, before we get in our stand, get it set up on our bog. And then, you know, I'm always safe. We have our bolt up and the safety set so you know the only time we're putting the bolt down is if we have a coyote coming in so you just got to be safe out there folks accidents can happen and they can be bad so just be practice you know safe gun safety you know know where you're at where that barrel's pointed all the time make sure you know if you got a bullet in or not and so other than that you know uh you know this the the sling here is actually from a good cow friend of mine he's uh he's he's out of the uh, northeast of montana he's a government trapper his name's pat sinclair he's a pretty kind of a kind of a legend up in that part because he does kill tons of cows but he does it every day and doesn't matter if he's on the ground or in the helicopter or airplane they're getting it done. So this is a sling he decided to come up with and they're pretty good slings. They're just a leather sling. You can adjust them here. You know, that's all I've ever, ever ran. Uh, other than that, you know, I just wanted to jump on here and kind of tell everybody what we're shooting. The thing I like about these guns is, and I, I'm sure it's with a lot of custom guns, but we've had so much faith in these, in these HS precisions that it's nice to hit what you're aiming at I guess that's you know I mean everybody wants to hit where they're aiming at you got to go shoot them you got to go validate your scope as far as what I mean by validate you got to go out once you get your dope on your bullets and and you and you go through all the numbers setting your your dope for your your turrets you, then you got to go out and actually validate it you got to go out and shoot them at two three four five six seven eight hundred yards whatever however far you feel comfortable shooting but you got to go validate them like go out and make sure that the app and and your turrets and everything is 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 jiving that it's correct sometimes on these apps they're a little bit off so you got to go make that adjustment but you got to go do it out in the field you just can't go shoot at 200 and then go rely on your app to always you know telling you how far or, or you know where to adjust your turret so go out there in the field and and go shoot at 750 yards and and if your turret says whatever off your app you go set your turret go validate it go get out there and shoot it to make sure that it is correct so when you get out and you're shooting at a coyote or a deer or antelope or an elk or something that you know that you're more successful now with that being said you know, a lot of people get custom guns, they get nice optics, you know. Like with us, we're running horny ammo. We run the match grade through these. Uh, that's what works best for us. But you want to always go out and shoot it and validate it. You just don't want to, you know, just assume that everything's going to be right. And, and I'm not promoting long distance shooting. I mean, our goal when we sit down and call coyotes, our goal is to shoot them. 50, 100 yards. I mean, that's just, that's everybody's. But as as you hunt coyotes, if you shoot one or two, that third one maybe hang up, or maybe they're educated bunch of coyotes, you know, and they hang up at 450 or 500. Well, now I have the scope and the gun to actually to go out there and harvest these animals. And that's what, that's what I enjoy about these guns. It makes you a better shooter. You're more confident. And, you know, I always say all the time, I just, I, I, there's, a, there's a movie I loved watching, Shooter, and uh, with Mark Wahlberg, and his, and his actor in there is named Bob Lee Swagger, and I always tease my son, I said, I feel like Bob Lee Swagger in this gun, because they're just, they're so accurate, they're so dependable, that makes it fun when you're out hunting, and 
So, you know, just give them a look. There's lots of good gun manufacturers, lots of good gun manufacturers, and there's lots of good custom gun manufacturers. This is the one that's that we shoot. We believe in it. Uh, like I said, it's they've been game changers for us. I mean, I do miss. You guys watch on our videos. I've missed before. You know, you kind of get in the heat of the moment, and maybe the wind's blowing a little one way or another, and you know you're gonna miss. That's part of it. Even when you do have, like I I tell everybody all the time with this guns the scope, the bullets, and then ultimately putting it on a bog, we are set up to be so successful. So if there's any error at all, it's probably human error. And that's going to happen. That's part of hunting. You're going to miss stuff. Just shake it off. The best, the best memory to have when you miss something is a short memory. Just, you know, and if you think you're maybe your gun's off, go to the range and double check it. But, you know, these guns... I've never had them come off. Like I say, I love the idea of putting them on a Picatinny rail here. Uh, you know, right here. Like I said, it's uh, it, they're just they're just a game changer for us. It's enjoyable to shoot them. We we feel like we are more successful because of the gun and the scope and the bullets and on and on the bog. So. Uh, with that being said, I just wanted to jump on here and kind of show you this is my coyote setup. I'll just roll through it one more time. This is just, it's a 224 Valkyrie. It's on a, it's on a one pound trigger. It's a 22 inch barrel and it's got this vapor, uh, this vapor uh, suppressor from SRT Arms. It's titanium. The scope again is a, is a Tango 6, 5x30x56 from uh sig sour so sitting on a bog and then ultimately we're using the match grade from hornady so just unbelievable gun uh if you ever just go check them out at hs precision they take about a year to get one they're busy they do a lot of government contracts fbi military so they're they're busy but they're they're worth the wait people i would recommend them so hope you have a great easter weekend everybody if you have any other questions just hit us up through our social media platforms i hope you have a successful and enjoyable hunting season coming up here guys have fun lights out